Hello and welcome. Here we are again at Portals to Heart Consciousness. For most of us, it has been a little bit of a challenging time. And for most of us, lockdown was not maybe the most beautiful experience in your life. And yet, it might have been a big blessing. If we don't resist and go with the flow and allow to really take the opportunity of forgiveness, of letting go, of attachments and all things that just don't suit anymore, then really this was a beautiful opportunity for you. And for most of us it still is. Here in Peru we still don't know anything beyond the 24th of May. So we shall see where this thing is going. For two reasons you didn't hear much of us for the last couple of weeks. One there's a real overwhelm out there. There's plenty of information about what is going on, what is not going on, and a lot of advice. And on some level, we just didn't feel we wanted to add more to your confusion. What we did instead was to go within and figure out what we really have for the world at this time, beyond and after, and also now. So. Just last week, actually, we completed the five, first five series, the first series, no, the first five items on the first series that we're doing. It's audio series, and they're all about story and spirit animal medicine. So you may ask, how does that all fit into the bigger picture? Well, it fits so good, because this is really portals to heart consciousness. This is really from the worlds of the heart, from Sonko's worlds. This is what we're really good at and what we love. It's mystic and sacred and it has the philosophy and the culture, the education on everything that we actually love. So the first five episodes are actually completed and all available on audio series. What is really happening right now? Well. I guess nobody really knows. And of course this is a strange position for all of us to be in that kind of uncertainty and in the kind of not knowing. We can follow one thing or the other and then we hear 25,000 other things. So really how can we look beyond how to look beyond is actually to look within and to find a truth that, that resonates. And maybe this is different for everyone. And maybe it is not about knowing what is the truth. Maybe it's about how am I going to be part of this change. For most of us, we are not who we were before. The world is not what it was before. Nature has shifted. And we still don't know what happens to what we call economics, what we call our work. We still don't know. So what is it to look beyond is to find some kind of resonance and truth that works for you personally. And so it's a lot about resetting rewiring and reconnecting to what is is there and the truth is maybe not there outside of us what is there is the opportunity of learning so for us it was really like letting go when you are locked in you may recognize things about you that you didn't know when you are locked in, you may have to face things that maybe are not relevant anymore. So for most of us, a very, very deep and beautiful experience. The only way you can really escape is to stay on media all day long. The only way you can escape is to not think, to not be present to what's going on. But for most of us, 
there was a time when we needed to face it. How did you keep your body well? How did you practice self-love during this time? Did you keep up any form of exercise? Did you nourish your body? How? All these things are about resetting, rewiring and reconnecting to maybe somebody totally new. And somebody, hopefully, who is a shining light into what comes. So, as I spend a lot of time in meditation and yoga and my praxis, a little bit isolated in, in our own flat with Ceci and brother and nephew around, I spend a lot of time with introperspective while learning and looking at life from a different perspective in the context of this old flat and where we left it and what it is now. While of course still very happy to return to our own home in the jungle but appreciating this experience. So this was really the opening up how can we be present in this world how can we be of service how can we shine our light so it, it actually works out for you and this is how we came with you could say or i call it <laughs> sacred shifting specifics and specifics because sometimes we we, we don't really know where things go where things fit what should we do first to get overwhelmed and confused at this time is very easy. I'm very creative. I constantly have 25,000 ideas at the same time. So for me to get this specific and this focus was really excellent. So first came eight specifics and five of them are recorded as a story and four classes all on audio. So a little bit of low tech due to what's available to us right now. And well, it had to get out. So the audios that we produce, they basically just be shared on WhatsApp or Telegram, depending what you're preferring. And they are all about specifics. And because we love the mystic and the sacred and the philosophy and the culture, and the education and all the other beautiful things and indigenous wisdom we packaged it a little bit different with spirit animals so we have looked at sacred shifting specifics as first at all clarity what's your clarity right now what's your new gift that maybe you would like to share in the world and for that, the hummingbird came our way. The second one is authenticity. So who am I now? I'm not the one I was before. Of course, on some level, we are never the same as yesterday. But this was a bit more deep. This was a bigger shift that really occurred for us. And the Tuatara this beautiful, very ancient dragon reptile in New Zealand helped with this authenticity to take us on this journey of figuring out who am I in this new world. The third one was the sloth. Now the sloth is a very, very beautiful animal. And of course it's in the jungle where we are. We don't see it so much, but the presence, the beauty of it, is just spectacular. So the sloth actually is here for inspiration. The next one that we were looking at is heart opening. We find with a lot of the people we're talking to, the clients, the classes that we give, everybody is asking, I want to open my heart. I want to open my heart. Well, there's many things of opening your heart. There's a lot of yoga, asanas, there's a lot of respiration, prana, pranayama to open the heart. And of course, we choose the giraffe to help you open the heart. 
And then, of course, comes finally the dolphin that takes us into lightness. Yes, these stories are really all very mystic, multidimensional, take you in totally different spaces. And it's specifically designed for you to reset, rewire, and reconnect to that you in a new world. This time we also made sure that we bring it under the context that we have most experience with. So of course we can put it in educational context. So how does it work for educators and for people who are learning from the little ones to the big ones? We're also looking here in a specific context as organizational culture and development. We got a lot there, so why not sharing with you? The third is the leadership and the visionary. Then comes, of course, the transpersonal development. Some may call the seekers, looking for this new self and trying to self-realize. Enlightenment, whatever you want to call it. And couples, because yes, couples also have to redefine their boundaries because as one person is changing the other one is changing so you're entering a dynamics that may not be the same as it was before so how to understand what habits broke how to understand to come to new clarity to new authenticity to new inspiration to a continuous heart opening. It's not finished yet. If your heart opens once, it's just an experience. But if you become heart opened, it's a totally different story because you actually leave the mindset. You can shift from one mindset to another, but you're still set in your mind. Once you open your mind, you can fall into the heart and life will change forever. There's a lot of research out there now and I've been watching some of this and, and it's absolutely spectacular. For a man of the heart, it's like, wow, finally there is some evidence, there is some exciting news about that. So in the heart is really the intelligence. Now we're even questioning what's up here because we don't know anymore. Science is resetting rewiring and finding new ways to understand who we truly are and how we function but the heart opening and the heart is really the center it's not that pump we are talking about the heart intelligence so heart opening right now is really taking us into totally different dimensions so here we are inviting you and to stay light in this time is not always easy. So we are here to help you. So how do we bring this beautiful shifting specifics in different context to you? We've decided we give free stories. In fact, for this week, 100 free stories are ready to go out to whoever wants it. You choose. Your animal, your specific, they go together. And we send it to you by WhatsApp as an audio. You just enjoy. No strings attached. Yes, we will offer you the classes because they're cool. But while rewiring and resetting ourselves, I came out of the economics. I always had this strange relationship with economics. And I always felt there's another way. Management of scarcity? I never really quite got it. Resources? Never really touched me. I believe we actually live in bounty. We just don't know how to take it out there. I feel we are rejecting life on some way. And so I call it vitalnomics because I love to keep the flow of life in the way we create, exchange, interact with each other. I'm not imposing it to you. We are just using vital nomics as a way to exchange the vital nomics productions, which is 
the specifics with the animals, the stories, and the classes. So how does it work? Free classes this week, 100. I don't want to go automated because I want to be personal. Not because I don't understand the technology, but I like to get personal messages, so I want to give personal messages to you. So you get the story, you give me some feedback, we have a little chat, voice, message, perfect. Still free. You want to receive the four classes, you can do that as a self-study. Individual, however you like it. As this is growing, of course, bigger now, I have to organize things a little bit different. If we have a minimum of seven people for one animal, for one specific, we create a WhatsApp group and we share all the four classes there. Everybody can share what happens in each class. And again, we give feedback forward by voice, by text individually, and of course, in the group. For this, you can use now Vitonomics. You can just share what's in your heart, what's available to you, what gives life to you, and of course, what gives life to us. We have been doing it for the last two weeks, and we're loving it. It works. So there is the offer. Are you ready for a free story? I will write a little bit more in the comments below so you get a better idea. If you are on LinkedIn or Facebook or on Instagram, you already know. And this is how it goes. This is where we are at. Really here to be of service to you, to bring you those specifics that take you to the new you. If that is something you aspire. If not, don't push it because maybe you're looking for something else. It's about resonance. It's about you feeling that this is for you. So for today, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for being here. It's always a pleasure. Even if we don't see each other face to face, eye to eye, of course, what a beautiful way of social distancing. I still feel your energy, no matter when you're watching. And I still appreciate that you take the time to be here. If you haven't subscribed yet, you know how to do it. Subscribe button. If you have any comments, you know how to do it. Just write them in. If you would like to have a free story that are available this week, just text me on WhatsApp or Telegram and you will receive it. Thank you so much. Namaste. Love you all.